Hey guys, it's Gabs again. Um, I've had a heck of a lot of things happen over the past week. I had my IA do, or internal assessment for all those you, of you who do not speak international baccalaureate. It's basically, it was my math IA, and it was basically a huge research paper, except it was all math. So you picked a topic. Mine was ocean waves and you investigated something about ocean waves, in my case, uh, with math. So I think I was investigating the correlation between wind speed and wave height, which was oh so joyous. I just am really, really tired, and I'm experiencing, yet again, the joys, oh my hair's a mess, of being introverted. Um, I don't know if you all know the difference between introverted and extroverted, but introverted people prefer to be by themselves, they gain energy from being alone. Um, extroverted people prefer to be with the group of people, they gain energy from interaction. I have had a lot of interaction with human beings this past week, so I am very, very drained. I literally went to Taekwondo this morning, came upstairs, and I do not think I have really left my room and had real social interaction with my family in, what, I got home at 10, it's like 4, 3rd, 4 o'clock, I can't read my digital clock, um, that would be, I don't even know, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 hours. Six hours I have not interacted with people. Um, and it's been amazing. I feel so much better now. I still think I need like another day or two to recuperate, but I feel a lot better. Joy's being an introvert. Oh, I'm, I've been told to, that I need to rant about IB. And IB stands for International Baccalaureate. It's an academy of sorts for advanced kids. It's basically um, a more rigorous line of study that takes a more worldly view on topics. Um, you tend to go more in depth than you think, talk about the whys rather, rather than just the this is. Excuse me. Um, and as much as during the school day, I say, oh, good lord. I can't believe I did IB. Why in the world did I do this? This is so hard. It's actually a lot of fun. Um, I get to meet kids from all over the city, all over the world. Some of my friends came over here from Germany, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I get a more worldly view on, like, life, which is great. Um, the only problem is... You know what, I can't think of a problem right now. I just don't like the IAs. They're horrible. I have an IA for English coming up where I have to talk about, what's my topic? Oh, my topic is individual self-worth in the bluest eye. That is what I have to discuss. Which well, shouldn't be too difficult. I don't know about any of y'all, but I know I definitely have had um, uh, issues with self-image. Which is great. It's a lot of fun. No, it's not. IB has the best teachers. I think it's amazing. A lot of IB teachers don't actually believe in homework, so I don't have that big of a homework load, which is phenomenal. In case you haven't figured it out yet, I'm still in high school. I graduate next year, which is crazy. I have to look at colleges and go college visiting, which is great. Cinderella music's coming along slowly. Our chorus director has threatened to cancel the performance if we do not learn our music. I doubt he'll actually do that. I've got a dance part, which is phenomenal. So much fun. I think next time we dance, we are learning the gavotte and the waltz, which will be really fun. Y'all don't get to see any of that because I can't film rehearsals. The next Saturday rehearsal, I'm not going to film this coming Saturday rehearsal, I'll film one of the ones in February for you guys. So I think the next true vlog, vlog, like those vlogs you'll get from me, is my New York vlog. 
which I'm very excited about. Chorus is um, going to New York. Um, we're going to go see, what are we going to say? We're going to see Kinky Boots, which is about a man who, ooh, either buys or inherits his uncle's shoe factory, I don't remember which, which is starting to go out of business because they all make the same old style of shoe, um, which isn't very popular anymore. And then he meets this drag queen who needs boots, and he starts, um, he changes all of the shoes in the shoemaking factory to boots for drag queens. I'm really excited about that. We're gonna go see On the Town, which is more of a classic musical. It's about a couple of sailors who get one night of leave off the ship, and it's about what they do on the town with their night. And then we're going to see Aladdin, and I sincerely hope I don't need to tell you what that's about, because if I do, you need to go watch yourself some Disney. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. Uh, for those of you who do not, who have not seen Disney's Aladdin, what have you been doing with your lives, number one? Number two, it's about um, a poor boy named Aladdin who lives on the streets, um, who ends up through a lot of different circumstances meeting the princess. So yeah, sorry guys, my, cam my camera ran out of batteries. I think I was talking about Aladdin and how he's um, a poor boy who meets uh, the princess of their town and then finds a magic lamp and has a genie and he's got three wishes and everything turns out happy in the end. Um, and that was part of my chorus's trip to New York. Yes, now I remember where I was. Okay, cool. Um, I think you could hear, you can hear my parents downstairs. They're loud, I'm sorry. Um, so that's what's going on with that. Next weekend, I don't know, it might end up being one of these. Hopefully I'll end up being introducing my cosplay characters. I'm going to get started on writing that script up and hopefully I'll film it over my two day, two day weekend, four day weekend because I have two days off from school this week. Yes! Freedom! <laughs> All of the freedom. I've been so stressed. IB has been killing me. Um, so yeah, I've got that to write. I'll hopefully film that. I need to go get new makeup first, though. I have this, I don't know if you can see it, but I have this eczema on my eye, which is great, which means I literally had to get rid of, like, all of my eye makeup, which made me so sad. Um, so I have to go replace all my eye makeup before I can film my, uh, cosplay videos so that I look slightly different with my wigs. Oh, and I walk into school after I get this phenomenal whoo, hairstyle done and my chorus director just glares at me and goes, it goes, you were cast in a production and then you cut off all of your hair. Okay, two things, chorus director. One, you were gonna put me in a wig anyway, don't try to deny it, my hair has always been short. Two, it'll be back in a month. Calm thyself. Alright, so I'm back from dinner. Dinner was good, it was pot roast. Yummy pot roast. And I have tea in my Doctor Who mug because I'm feeling British even though I'm American. No, it's just really cold and tea is warm. Or really hot in this case. Ow. Um, I'll talk about my chorus director and how he's probably going to make me wear a wig for the performance of Cinderella because I currently have no hair. And the only thing I have to say, because he's probably going to put me in a wig anyway because my hair has always been pretty short, is I sincerely hope he lets me wear one of mine. I've got a black one and a blonde one. Please let me wear one of mine. Because at least I know where mine have been. His have probably been sitting in an attic for a year, which is kind of gross. Just, just a wee bit gross. But yeah, so, um, if you liked us, give us a thumbs. If you want to see more of me, click the subscribe button, and you can also comment who's your favorite doctor or what crazy things have been happening in your life. I want to talk to you guys, um, if there are any of you guys. Bye!